This is the American Athletic Conference on ESPN+. Plus. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Strothman, and greetings from Wilkins Stadium, home to the Wichita State Shockers. A junior regular ever since arriving in Oklahoma. She was the consensus number one prospect in the class of 2020. And she's showing you the eye at the plate, starting things off last year, and now at 4-3-2 coming into this one. 0-2 oh, uh, smashes one high up in the air. Certainly made some noise. Hoekstra is calling everyone off, and she comes up with the catch for the first down in the inning. Set the face Lauren Howe for the first time. Bounces away from Sophie Johnson, and that allows Gina Coleman to sprint over to second base. So scored just seven runs across the set. This one line the left. Brito has it sent to the wall. She's rounding for second. She slides in safely. And the Sooners strike first on the road. Nothing fancy there from the number three hitter. Just lines it sharply to left. And scores Jada Coleman from second with just seven home runs. But batting 404 coming into this one. And she'll take the walk. Stella Parker walks for the 20th time. Al's ready. Right up the middle. Rounding uh, is Hansen. She slows down at second from second base. Oklahoma locked in early. They have 18 and 19. Just good play discipline as well. This one in play, the Hoekstra looks over at home but decides to throw the first. That does score another run for Oklahoma. A 3 0 start for the Sooners in the first inning. How trying to get out of the inning. Nelson has it. The throw to first in time. And that closes the top half of the first. Oh, into its ability to hit bombs and all that wonderful stuff. CeCe Wong finds a way to find a sweet spot in right field. And CeCe Wong starting things off with a leadoff single. The 2-1 from Deal gets skied up in the air. Coming in from right field that is Pickering. She comes up with a catch. First out here in the bottom half of inning number one. 299. Swains of the one two and Deal blows it by her. Strike out recorded for Deal and there are two down. A state led that game 3 2 going into the seventh. And then Tulsa was able to rally to get the victory. Deal. Gets the outside corner and Deal wraps up the first. We're back here in the in the second. Well, coming up here for Oklahoma, Avery Hodge laying down a bunt and it's laid down perfectly, showing up the wheels to second baseman, starting off the second with an infield single. How we can get even more folks in Wilkins Stadium? Ball plans for sure. Runner takes off. Not a bad throw from. Sophie Johnson behind the dish by Avery Hodge just able to burn out there on indeed ruled that Avery Hodge was able to steal the bag successfully didn't leave early and now Riley Boone gets on after a walk giving up the third walk already many years and it built it into something special to his credit our president we have a double steal taking place. The throw a little bit offline. Oklahoma now has two runners in scoring position with Oklahoma, who's sitting at a 449 batting average coming into this one. Now trying to get that first out recorded. A little bit away from the plate, and the bases are loaded for championships and represent Wichita State in postseason play. So it's important to play the best. Well, this one gets by Sophie Johnson at the plates, but it ends up going as a walk, so it was going to score a run anyways. So there are now four runs for Oklahoma. And, and 
in its truest form, it, it certainly is, um, I, I think, a blessing for our young people to be able to do those things. Um, it really has evolved here in the last couple of years, for sure. 2-1, a loud pop at the plate. Winds up going as a catch for Salachek, but deep enough for Brito to allow that fifth Oklahoma run to come across the plate. Boy, just the sound of that bat made it made it seem like that was going to go over the wall. Student athletes to be successful. And when we started it, which uh, stayed in July of 22, there was much of that that had not yet been done. Bailey Urban coming up with the catch for Wichita State. Ella Parker goes down as the second out in the second. Something that we can just ignore and want championships for our programs. A little looper down the right field line. Hanson able to drop it in there to score one. And there's the second. Hanson driving in her second and third runs for this evening as Oklahoma has stretched out to a seven-run advantage. Just nice and simple, just a nice smooth swing and put it in play. And Hanson. And like, what does this do, I guess, for, for you as you are able to bring in this type of talent? And I guess we can save that question for uh, another time yeah, as <laughs> Crowder came out and got that bid. And so many other folks have been involved with it as well. Sammy Hood with a tough, tough luck out there as Hodge was just in the right spot to get the catch. That thing had some heat that just went right to the glove. So Caroline Talent will take her spot. Any bombs? Not yet. I haven't hit any bombs and probably won't. So uh, I'll have to trust them on that deal. <laughs> Talent swings and can't connect with that one. Kirsten Deal picks on, uh, on a live broadcast here with obviously a lot of viewers. I think the world of what Coach Breadbender and her staff are building here at Wichita State, and they've done things absolutely the right way. And if you got recruits and young people that are for this Oklahoma lineup. Yeah, she starts off the third by drawing a walk. Hodge gives us one a ride to right. Solachik reels it in. Torres tags and sprints over the third. And there's the first out in inning number three. Puts this one in play. Nelson checks over at third to halt Torres from making that trek home. Doing 344. Played in four games on opening weekend last season for sustaining a back injury. And here she is going down. Hoekstra pops it up on the 3-2. And coming in and making the grab is Brito. <coughs> oh, 2 Nelson. Was close to going around, and the appeal down at third base. Two-two. Wong goes down swinging, and Kirsten Deal for the second. She did a pop up the short, and Cooper with a fancy glove, getting Jennings to ground out right back her way, but she was able to do a season ago. 2-2, two, two, uh, waiting on it. Cooper blocked it. And she picks it up and deals over the first. She's responding. Freshman, Ella Parker, Cassidy Pickering, and Maya Bland, all of them at that key moments this year. A shot the right field. Ella Parker able to sneak it on through. And it's a two-out single for Big swing and miss. The throw bounces off the glove of a shocker, and that allows Ella Parker to not only take one bag, but she also gets a second one. So the freshman coming in, it's a, it's a grind. You got to battle to get every at-bat you can get. Ludlam goes down looking at another clean inning for Wichita State as the primarily see power five members on this list. Barnard gets jammed. Coming in for the catch for Oklahoma is Torres. 
And there's the first down to Bob Knapp for the four. And straight away center. Bland is in right field for Oklahoma. And Solacek pounds one to short. Jetting showing the range and the arm as well. She got as a unit. Urban gives us one a ride, and it winds up being caught by Kaur. She read it all the way. Spring of 2022, when she was a junior, she had a 528 batting average. Blasted 16 home runs, and she pounds one in the dirt. Has the wheels to try to... 2-2 two -two from Cooper. Opposite field it goes, and it bounces in for a hit. Torres able to log hit, but Texas has had a terrific season this year. Cooper able to get that one to fall in there. Allison Cooper. Lilio grounds this one to first. Ended up being scooped. And a thrown over the first. Nicely done by Wichita State. And that closes. See how many hood last time, time up lined out to second. And she goes down swinging. Another punch out for Deal. Like there's a good time to have a loss. But for Coach Patty Gasso, maybe, maybe this is it. Caroline Talent. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Nicely done by Deal. Ring up another for Kirsten Deal. Hoekstra goes down swinging and the three outs recorded in the fifth all via the K for nine Ks already. They're kicking off the sixth frame with a butt laid down and legging it out for Oklahoma. Although, did they rule that as a fair or foul? They're going to get a challenge here from Christy Breadbetter, co-worker. And they do rule her as out. Trying to get that first hit here for the day. So that she grinds out to Nelson. And there are two quick ones recorded in the sixth frame. Maybe the best part over that stretch is she didn't strike out once. Good shot down right field for Alyssa Brito. And she winds up sliding in at second base. Second hit recorded for Brito. Parker. A 3-1, a blasted right by the Cooper, and Cooper was able to come up with a grab for WSU. She's Well, at least it's put in play by Nelson. But you saw a deal step viewed as a closer with OU. CeCe Wong drawing the first walk of the game for Wichita State. Good bounce back. One, two, Barner drives it to center field and it grazes the wall, stays in the park. CC Wong stops over at third and Addie Barner almost made. Keeney. Able to get that one to drop in at the right spot. Salachik. Urban winds out to Jennings at short, and that ends the threat in the six. Wichita State with its best chance to the 7 0 lead in the first two frames. And she blasts one to the left, and the first pitch that she sees in the seventh frame. Job well done by. And a very simple message, or maybe simply just say, hey, it's all right, it's all good. Just let the team respond. This one popped up to uh, Sammy Hood over at second big game, only lasting an inning. And she is responsible for all seven runs given up. And Cooper making it strikeout number four if she catches the outside corner.
This one could be trouble. Almost a diving catch to close up the top of the seventh. However, it drops in and Avery Hodge logs that second hit for the night. Cooper 3-2 and she goes down swinging. Cooper in relief. He's trying to get back on track for WSU. The team has dealt with a handful of injuries. Hood, though, goes down swinging for the second time. Talent waited back on this one. And dribbles one right up right away for the third shocker hit. For one, two, and she finds a way to drop it in there. And inning number five. Oakstra puts it in play, nicely done up by Jennings to get the out over at third. And there are two down in the seventh. One, two, Keeney gets the job done and Oklahoma responds after losing two or three to Texas with a seven nothing shutout win against Wichita State.